it's important to be able to put the bad stuff behind you, learn from it, and move forward. As always, we thank you for watching the Capital City Go Go on the Monumental Sports Network. As Dozier lobs it to Lauderdale for the first bucket of the game. It would be Chris Chioza. Megan, Tony? And Tony, you've mentioned a few times, especially in the last couple of games, how important it is that. Hopefully get into a good offensive rhythm. White, dead on the mark as he knocks that down and immediately leads to a Jarrell Christian timeout. <laughs> <laughs> talking about offensive rhythm, making clearly the Red Claws have no problem finding their rhythm early. See the nice jump shot right there from Allen. To the starting lineup and gets consistent minutes because of the depleted roster. And now he's, you're starting to see the consistency from him. Yeah, you're starting to see that consistency. Dozier off the double screen. Knocks down that three. They're now Faisal with the offensive board. Howard. Baseline jumper falls. And that's a good sign right there for Bichon Howard. With Davis. Knocks down the pull-up jumper. Dozier on the attack lays it up and in. Make jump shots. Like to see the ball move around the perimeter just a little bit. Turnover right there. Bibbs attacking. Lays it up and in. Challenging shots. Playing with a lot of energy right now. Goodwin falling and still able to get that to go. Leave guys open behind the three-point line. They're going to knock them down on you. As you As see right there. He's up to eight points. The go-go, Tony, five turnovers already this quarter. Just four made field goals. Make that five yeah. made field goals. Some opportunities closer to the basket. As much as we talk about the Red Claw shooting, you know, their defense has also been on point. Seven. Dozier attacking. Yeah, that's that's too easy. Six seconds on the shot clock. McCray, the jumper from the baseline. McCray. Duquesne extra pass. Armwood. Great pass and a great, great slip. Pass by Armwood. That's a great cut. That's the motion in the offense to play with. Start to move this Red Claws team around a little bit. Get some better looks in the painted area. Gogo on a 12-2 run. Dozier to White as he snaps it. He's just a 29% three-point shooter. Excuse me, Isaiah Armwood has that block. Bibbs in transition. As he gets the layup, wanted the call, but nothing. Five. Backing down Hunter. Turns and fades and knocks it down. Talk about Jordan McRae's ability to score again, assessing the defense. Jump shot. 10 point lead for the Red Claws. Hunter trying to extend it and he does. Stops on a dime from three, that's short. Hunter with the rebound, up the floor. Bohan into white. Lays it up and in. And that's made it difficult for the Go-Go to cover the perimeter fast enough if you've seen a number of open three point shots. You see a nice end one right there from Isaiah Armwood in the paint. Half of those threes that they made, have, they've been wide open. And for more on the defense and Coach Christian in that, they can get some stops, they can get out and running in transition. That's going to put the pressure, Tony, on the Red Claws defense as Vito Brown knocks down a three. What we've known them to do, which is as a team that's in the top three and turning teams over, they can use that ability to turn teams over to get some transition buckets, which will... Controls right down the teeth of the defense as he gets the roll. And Coach Christian screaming for the end one right there. I'm out from Brandon Bailey, Chioza. There's contact, but he's up and moving. Bohannon spins on Armwood. Doesn't get it, but got the putback. McCray with the steal in transition. Lays it up and in. Look at Jordan McCray right here. Great overplay, able to get down the other end and finish. This is what the Go-Go need a little bit more of. Go-Go's DNA as far as turning teams over and creating offense. McCray, 16 points now. Brown 
goes high off glass. Allen, too strong on the layup. Yeah, but you like the fact that he takes it to the basket rather than settling for a jump shot. McCray muscles his way to the lane. The formula seems to be get the ball. McCray off the screen from Poyer as he hammers it home. And great screen set by Daniel Poyer and rolling to the basket for the strong finish. McCray attacking, lays it up, and one. And there's the end one. McCray knocks it down. And now he's feeling it. All of this has been ignited, turning over the Red Claws, getting some baskets in transition, and attacking the rim offensively. As Bohannon gets the layup. Chioza working with DP. Three seconds, Chioza lays it up and in. McCray, Allen, and Sweetney as Jordan McCray continues. The bench also, so we'll see what he can deliver. Certainly have chipped away at a lead that was pretty big. As you see a nice left-hand finish right there from Daniel Poirier, the big man again in the painted area. And Gogo still electing to continue to attack the Red Claws in the paint. Chioza to the corner. Allen knocks it down, and the Gogo have their first lead of the ball game. A little better balanced offense. Tony, you've played this ball game as McCray answers back. A bumped on the side of the face as Dozier has to go. McCray. Goes baseline, lays it up and in. And Jordan McCray continues. Into the body, count the bucket. And the fifth piece today at the rate he's going. A lob for Lauderdale. And that's a great lob play right there. A good finish by Lauderdale. McCray gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. And Jordan 38 points for McCray. Allen with the ball off the turnover. Lays it up and in. And a good steal and a good finish by Noah. One of his first shots of the day. Roberson. <laughs> Offensive rebound. Reset to 14. Allen attacks. Has it blocked from Bohannon. Goodwin. Has it stripped from Chioza. As Bibbs. Excuse me, that's Brown that flips it up and in. Armwood. Chioza. Eight on the shot clock. The reverse layup too strong, but Allen is there for the cleanup. McCray attacking, lays it up and in. You talk about people playing them. Tony, I think when you said he could go for 50, he's eight points away. I think that's going to be pretty easy. Yep, might be a 50 piece in his, in his future today. He's still got another quarter of basketball to go. Loose ball. And then they turn it over. Dunham for three. Under two minutes to play now. Hunter. Lauderdale is there for the cleanup. The handoff to Lauderdale. It's taken away. Dunham. Who knew he had bunnies? Who knew? Dozier. Too strong. Lauderdale back tap ends up with Dunham. Howard attacking. Kept the bucket and the foul. And Keyshawn Howard coming in off the bench again. Chioza. Howard off the curl. Knocks it down. And Keyshawn Howard. Dunham having to shoot that under the rest. White knocks it down. Kelly and Dunham have both been highly contested, so you like to see the go-go moving around a little bit more. McCray, eight on the shot clock. Count the bucket and the foul. Bibbs. Out! Sweetney lost his footing, turns the ball over. 
as Bibbs lays it up and in. Gives it back to him. Dozier attacks, lays it up and in. McCray goes to Armwood. Great finish right there. And finish. Dozier with the kick. Dozier with the putback. Saves it to Dozier. Up the floor. Hunter. White in the corner. Knocks it down. And a foul. Dozier. Chioza with the steal. Allen with the follow. McCray. Allen left open. Knocks it down. And that's a good rhythm shot right there. Dozier goes off Bohannon. Goes to Bibbs to lay it up and in. McCray. He's got 51, and with that, Tony, he... Offensive board. Leads to a Noah Allen trade wall. And again, you see the activity level with the go-go. To McCray. That allowed them to create some turnovers and run. And the Go-Go have taken this game over. Dunham. 10 on the shot clock. DP. To Dozier. As he knocks that down. As the Go-Go after that morning start and tough loss in Lake